How is continental lithosphere different from oceanic lithosphere? If you want to know how, just keep watching as we discuss the continental lithosphere different from oceanic lithosphere. Now, let's define first lithosphere. The lithosphere is a solid and rigid outer layer of our planet. It includes the crust in the upper part of the mantle that contains rigid rocks. You will notice in this feature that the lithosphere is the top layer of the Earth because the Earth consists of land and water. The lithosphere can be subdivided into oceanic lithosphere and continental lithosphere. Oceanic lithosphere is associated with the oceanic crust and exists in the ocean basin. Oceanic lithosphere consists mainly of mafic crust and ultramafic mantle and is denser than continental lithosphere. Continental lithosphere is associated with the continental crust and typically some non conducting part of the underlying upper mantle. Now let's summarize the main differences between the continental and the oceanic lithosphere. In terms of age, the oceanic crust is relatively younger than the continental crust. The age of oceanic crust is 260 million years while continental is around 4 billion years. Continental crust is almost always much older than oceanic crust because continental crust is rarely destroyed in recycle in the process of subtraction. Some sections of continental crust are nearly as old as the air itself. When it comes to thickness, the continental lithosphere is thicker than the oceanic lithosphere. Continental lithosphere has an average thickness of 25 to 70 kilometers, while the oceanic lithosphere has a thickness of 7 to 10 kilometers. Oceanic lithosphere is denser than continental lithosphere. Continental crust mainly granific in composition and with a density of about 2.72 grams per cubic centimeter is somewhat lighter than the oceanic crust, which is thick in composition band has density of about 2.923 grams per cubic centimeter. The effect of the different densities of lithorostic crust can be seen in the different average elevation of continental and oceanic crust. The less dense continental crust has a greater density, causing it to float much higher in the mantle. Can one tectonic plate be oceanic and continental at the same time? Yes, continental and oceanic crust can be both part of the same plate. For example, the North American plate has a continental crust at its core. This is surrounded on most sides by oceanic crust. That's all. We're hoping that you learned something about the topic that we discussed. Goodbye and thank you for watching.